up? I'm Angela Yee. Gigi McGuire's here. Hi. Mano's here. New no, Mano! Gigi needs a... Um... A drop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we got to get we'll her one. We'll have to get me one for when I come Gigi. back. Um, <laughs> Gigi. Gigi crazy. Oh, my God. All right. Well, <laughs> let's talk about this. Um, we're, we've been talking about Cassie and, and Diddy's quote-unquote apology. Mm. Because I know right now... And to me, he should have just kept quiet. All right? But... Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I want to talk about times when you felt powerless. I saw Tiffany Red, who is a friend of Cassie's, that has spoken out. She's in the paperwork, and she talks about feeling, you know, people were like, why didn't you say something sooner? Here's what she had to say. A world-famous, influential billionaire who has more resources to shut you down than anyone. We have a friend who was hung from Cassie's balcony because this person was there for her. So miss me with the, what would you, why didn't you, what, didn't, what did y'all do then? You don't know. But trust and believe the people who have tried to protect Cassie have paid for it. Ooh, okay. Well, we were asking, have you ever felt like you were in a situation where you couldn't do anything and you felt powerless? Uh, Mano, we'll start with you. Uh, I don't, I don't recall being in a situation. I, the only thing I could probably think about is being in prison, mm -hmm. being powerless in prison, not yeah. being able to control your your life, your destiny, uh, having being told what to do, when to eat, when to sleep. So that's that's probably what I can come up with. And that's a real thing, because even if they do something that they shouldn't, you can't really do anything about it, because if yeah. you speak out, you'll get treated oh, worse. Of course. You've, I've been beat. Yeah. I've been beat by prison guards. On, and there's nothing you could do. On different occasions. Yeah, so you know what? I, I can relate to that. Mm -hmm. And I never said nothing about it. Because what can you say? Right? I never said nothing about it. You think like, oh, man, I'm a... I'm going to write somebody. People would be like, if that was me, I yeah, would have. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. there's nah, no rebellion nah. going on. I took, I took that. Okay, took what about those. you, Gigi? Have you ever felt like you were in a situation and couldn't say anything? Um, absolutely. I've been a victim of domestic violence on more than one occasion mm -hmm. and uh, more than one relationship, shall I say. And um, there was a time when I just felt like, what can I do? You know, not even really say, but what can I do? Because it wasn't really a secret. Mm -hmm. But um, it was actually my friends who told me that if you don't get away from this man, he's going to end up killing you. And I ended up moving to Atlanta from Philly to wow. get away from that that person. Well, thank God for your friends yeah. because sometimes you isolate yourself from your friends in a situation like that. What about that. you, Angelina? Yeah, absolutely. I think that sometimes, especially in this industry that we're in, uh, there's people who have power, and if you speak out against them, you could potentially lose your, your job. People won't believe you. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing you could really do about it when people are in positions where... You know, they have authority and things they that they could the do. Power. Yeah. Position of power. And yeah. they'll try to squash you and mm. end your career if you do anything. And so sometimes you have to be like, all right, I got to just play my cards right. And we see a lot yeah. of people coming forward talking about things they've had to deal with in the workplace. But later on, when they feel like they have um, got to a certain point or there's a group of people that are coming forward. And now I feel emboldened to be able to say something. Mm -hmm. It's hard. All right. Well, we want to see what you guys have to say. 800-292-5150. This caller wants to remain anonymous. Hi, how are you? Hello, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. It's me, Gigi and Mano. And we're wondering, has there been a time that you felt like you were powerless? Yes, there has been a time. Um, actually, maybe two years ago where I was at the workplace. Um, I'm not going to say any names, but I will say that my boss was the one who would make secret passes at me. Or he'll want me to stay longer at the office when I didn't, you know, need to. And he'll try me a couple of times. But it got to the point where he would even held me back from promotion mm -hmm. or trying to get, you know, a raise just was just horrible. And he'll use his power over me so I can stay where I need to stay because I have to go through him mm -hmm. to, in order to, you know, level up. So it was, took me to the point where I had to literally get up and move to go really chase my dreams. And I'm so happy I got out of that. I'm so sorry, because, you know, it's it's often when people are like, why didn't you say something? Why didn't you do something? But mm -hmm. like you said, he was preventing you from getting a, a promotion even. So you eventually just had to move away? Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of better for me to move away. I didn't even like the area I was in. So I felt like it was a sign where I need to get out. Mm. Well, I'm glad you did. Yeah. You didn't have nobody like a like a brother or uncle to come, come up there and whip his ass? <laughs> of course I did. But I just know if they get a help to it, it's over. Mm. Right. Imagine now they end up going to jail right. and then you feel right. terrible that you call right. people to come do something, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, Got thank it. you. Thank you for calling. All right. We have Cassie on the line, uh, ironically enough. Cassie. Hey. Hey, we're with uh, Mano and Gigi. We want to know about have you ever felt powerless? Yes. I've been in situations like that, cleaning, dealing with these kids nowadays. 
I had never been in an abusive relationship. But I just, this situation, this is a powerful man, so it's very hard. People don't know until they're in a situation. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people are speculating they've never been in a situation before. You clearly see the video of this girl trying to get away. Right. You know, and him beating her. Like, that's, we don't know what the situation is. I really believe her from day one. All the speculations of this man doing off in people because he don't want this to surface, which is surface now. But it's been going on for years. Um, Let me and ask you, but have you ever been in that situation in real life, like yourself, where you felt like, I can't say or do anything? Yes, I have had friends that go, go back that's in a abusive relationship, and it's like it's out of my hands. I have a family to think about. You know what I mean? So I definitely get what Tiffany is talking about. Okay. Because at the end of the day, you have to think about self. Nobody else is going to think about self besides self. All right. All right. Well, thank you, Cassie, for calling. All right. Thank you for having me.